Welcome Aries, I'm Rosa and this is Purple Lunar Rose Tarot. These are going to be your guidance cards for the week of August 16th through August 22nd of 2021. This is also the full Sturgeon Moon, which will be seen Saturday, August 21st, but will reach its peak illumination at 8.02 a.m. Eastern Time on Sunday, August 22nd. The full Sturgeon Moon is also commonly known as the Corn Moon, signaling a time to gather maturing crops. Fun fact about this full moon is that Indians called this full moon the Sturgeon Moon because they knew that this was the part of summer when giant sturgeon of the Great Lakes and Lake Champlain were readily caught. I do want to mention I am thinking about doing a live full moon reading. I believe I'm going to do it on that Saturday. I'm thinking about doing it around 2 p.m. I haven't really set a time yet. I will make a shorts to advertise the live reading, um, but just make sure to mention in comments when would be a good time and I'll try to pick the best time that accommodates the most people. All right, Aries, let's jump right in and see what you're working on healing this week. What are you releasing with this full moon? Help from above. So Aries, right away I'm getting a, that you're having a hard time releasing something. And you're going to have help this full moon. Alright, I do want to use my energy oracle. Let's clarify and see if we can figure out what it is that you're needing help from above with. Wow, Aries. <laughs> yin Yang. So Yin Yang says that old energy needs to move out so new energy can move in, which is very much what you're doing on a full moon. Still doesn't really tell me what it is that you're working with or what you're having a hard time working with. So Aries, we're going to clarify further and we're going to use the Numinous Astro. Let's see if we can place this general reading in your own personal birth chart. So we can because Mars, Mars is action. Mars is also your ruling planet, Aries. It says desire, impulses, courage, force, heat, strength. Could have something to do with competition, impatience, anger. Mars is the planet that rules like your anger. And Aries, we're known to get fired up pretty easily. So I feel like there's something that you've been angry about and that's what you're having a hard time letting go. So it's not like a person, place, or thing. Um, it's more of a feeling that someone gave you and you're maybe holding a grudge, Aries, or maybe like still upset about it, um, which of course is not abnormal for Aries. So sextile comes out and it says that you have an opportunity. And I believe what the opportunity is, is going to be this situation, the help from above. You also have fifth house passions and performance, entertainment, love affairs, passion, children, romance is on here. So I definitely feel like it's possible. Um, it's possible that it is a relationship. You had a relationship with someone, something happened in that relationship, Aries, and I feel like you're still upset about something or you're still holding on. You're not able to release each full moon phase that's been going by. We've been working a lot on releasing energy so that we can make room for the new energy. So I feel like I'm talking to someone who's been trying, trying, trying this whole time, but they feel like something is still holding on to them. Like something still has a grasp on their energy. All right, Aries, let's use the Gilded Tarot for our main spread. Let's see what challenges or obstacles you're facing. What is it? I still don't have a, a good grasp on what it is that you're trying to release. So, Four of Wands, a union. Wow, Aries. Ten of Wands is lesson to already learn that can help you with this challenge or obstacle. And Ten of Wands says heavy burdens. There's heavy burdens, and it's time for you to lay these burdens down. And then outcome, three of swords, you heal this broken heart. So Aries, I'm talking to someone who's been upset about something, most likely about a relationship. The relationship didn't go the way you expected. This could be about a marriage, um, a divorce, something like that. And it could be what is happening right now. But I feel like this is something that's happened previously and you've kind of been holding on to this energy and not able to push it out. You're not able to release each time this full moon comes. There's something that's still holding on to you, Aries. All right, Aries, let's clarify, and we're going to use regular right of weight to clarify. The Four of Wands, 
I believe is a relationship. Look at that. Four of Wands again. Two different decks, Aries. Very much a bond. Um, I do want to mention that the Four of Wands is a twin flame union. So I do believe it's possible that maybe I'm talking to an Aries who is in a twin flame journey and is maybe becoming more aware of what union really is. Um, maybe becoming aware that union in 5D um, experiences are a lot different than the union in 3D experiences. The Two of Cups, a partnership. And the Nine of Cups, a wish being granted. So I feel like I'm talking to an Aries that's been waiting for their twin to join in their partnership or to join in their journey. Um, but the Nine of Cups sitting here is sticking out to me. You notice this person is by themselves. Yes, you want this person to offer you the equal effort, but you're going to do this. And Spirit is going to help you do this on your own. There's something that you're needing to do on your own. And there's something that your twin is needing to do on their own. And it's not going to happen until you release this. Make room for the new energy. And whatever this notion is about this Four of Wands. Because the Four of Wands coming out twice. Two different decks right on top of each other first cards out um, is very significant and I feel like I'm just talking to someone who doesn't understand union it's possible this person already has union and they don't see it they're still waiting for some divine wish to be granted all right for the ten of wands exhaustion this person is deeply stressed this person has been working for a difficult time. This person has been bringing messages, bringing conversations, bringing some sort of communication about this journey and how difficult this journey is for a long time. Knight of Pentacles is someone who knows this journey is not something that's going to happen overnight. Look at that. Seven of Pentacles, Spirit is telling you, you're not being patient. You want something to happen right now, Aries. King of Cups, I think it's just the person. Three of Swords, so Seven of Swords or some sort of deceit. Um, there's something you're not telling yourself or you're either telling yourself I can't do something and you can or you're telling yourself you can do something and you shouldn't. I think it's very much the first one. I'm not too surprised to see the Lovers. The Lovers is the soul bond. I believe that's what you're healing from. And then the Star, look at that. So the Star coming out on top, these are some major cards here. I just want to say Aries um, but the star coming out here I do believe we are still on the Lionsgate portal um, I'm actually recording this video on the 10th so very much still in this portal very much still speaking about the serious star and I think Aries I'm talking to someone who used this Lionsgate portal to manifest some sort of release manifest some sort of courage to be able to release all right, Aries, next we're going to do Guidance. We're going to use Queen of the Moon and Magical Times. I do want to mention that all cards we use in today's reading do have an Amazon affiliate link in the description box below. Power. Call upon the elements. Focus your intentions. The greatest dragon is within you. Call upon the elements and focus your intentions is really sticking out to me because that's what we did with this Lionsgate portal. So I feel like you're getting your power back, Aries, because you use this portal to manifest this healing. Faith. Believe you are not alone. Spirit is right beside you. Ask for guidance and it will come. Definitely. Peace. This release is bringing you peace of mind. Fear. This release is helping you release this fear. And I think that fear is what held you back. Creation. Remember your thoughts shape your future. Your words create today. Your choices become your reality. I feel like that's a big message for an Aries out there. All right, Aries, let's end it with a Moonology Oracle, and this is going to help with your thoughts and emotions. I do feel like it's going to be an emotional week. I do feel like you're doing a massive healing. You very much used the Lionsgate portal to heal something that you were stuck, something you couldn't release, something you couldn't move out. And it's bringing your power back. It's bringing your faith back. Like I, I feel like it's making your faith stronger. 
I'm giving you, definitely giving you peace of mind. But I feel like now that you've released this fear, now it's time to create, Aries. Now it's time to move forward. A win-win outcome is forecast. It's the full moon in Libra. And we do have full moon energy. Have faith in your dreams. A time to give rather than take. It's the new moon in Virgo. And luck is on your side. It's the new moon in Sagittarius. I think I'm going to leave it right there, Aries. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, if it feels like your tribe, please like and subscribe.